Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today, we're gonna go over some chart comparisons and also a bunch of different commodities from a big, big, long picture view. <clears throat> Maybe this will change your paradigm a little bit because some of them, they're breaking out of some really long patterns. And I think if energy were to rocket higher, I think they're gonna have a huge impact on some of these soft commodities that I'm gonna show you in the future or show you here. And in the future, they're gonna have a, a big impact. Uh, the first part, I'm gonna talk about gold and platinum and show you the, the relationships of the patterns and where we are, in my opinion, in the current pattern. And we're, I mean, we're right there about to, to rip it at some point here very soon. And then I'm gonna go into a whole bunch of different soft commodities like wheat, cotton, uh, I think I put corn in there, oats, a whole bunch of different stuff just to show you. And, Usually those, if you, have an, if you have a lot of energy, cheap energy, you should be able to increase yields. You should be able to keep the prices pretty low, even with inflation from technological improvements. But if energy prices all go up, which is an input cost for all these, that means the cost curves could raise quite dramatically, especially if you have shortages of energy, just like outright shortages. But I'll show you the patterns. Maybe we can see something in the patterns of what people are kind of expecting for the soft commodities, and it's just more data. And that's what I like to, to look at, data, 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 data. So the first one I have up here is gold. And what I have is I've got gold now, which is the current pattern of 95 to 2020, and gold old, which is the 70s to the 2005. And what I'm focusing on is this consolidation period between the two. We had a massive move from 70 to 80. We had a massive move from 2000 to 2011. Notice that you have a large move here, a pullback, and then a move. We have another massive pull, and then a, this pullback and a move. The, 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 the moves here are one wave, third wave, fifth wave, a consolidation. And then we have a first, this is all jumbled together, first wave, third wave, and a fifth extended wave, and then the big consolidation. This consolidation here is the same as this consolidation here, and this little guy is this little guy. <clears throat> yes, there. Yeah, that's right. When you look at this big consolidation pattern, I'm going to compare the two consolidation patterns from now till back then. We've got one, which is the top. One's the top, and then two is this move up and lower. Two is this move up and lower. It's, it's a little bit jumbled here but it's these two features right next to each other. So two is at the bottom, two is at the bottom. Three, from two to three, we come up and over. From two to three, it's smashed down two to three. Four is this hump over, four is the hump over. And then on the right-hand side, it's stretched and drawn out over many years. This one's compressed. Five is this big kind of lump there. Five is this big lump coming over. And then what happened in five, this portion on the right-hand side, is money flew in, flown into it, <clears throat> pushed this higher, and six, which is the circle, is the consolidation period at the top here. So this one is super strong, and it's forming a cup and handle pattern. This one wasn't as strong, and it was, it was a descending type wedge. So it's, a, it's two different patterns. If you look at these patterns, this one's just a triangle pattern, not really descending wedge, it's more of a triangle pennant formation. This one turned out to be a cup and handle pattern. And the handle is just the circle and six. It's the same type of movements that you have in this pullback there. And all these basically align with each other because humans interacting with each other create these patterns. And I did the same thing for platinum, I just reversed it. This is platinum old, platinum now. The circle is this circle here, which is the same as this circle here. So if you look at the actual consolidation pattern inside of this, it's the same pattern that we have now in this consolidation pattern scrunched up and moved around real kind of a little bit. This one's more drawn out. This one's more scrunched up. We've broken the pattern. We broke the pattern. We do a pullback. We do the pullback. And it's the same pattern, and you're going to see this eventually rocket higher. And this was the pattern, and what happened after it was this big move up. 
And I think that's going to happen here with a very large move uh, going upward. <clears throat> now, I did these big old patterns with cotton, soybeans, and all the soft commodities here. Look at this pattern here, guys. This is insane. We basically have been capped and had this huge, we'll call it resistance level in cotton all the way back. And we've got a increasing higher lows. So the we've got higher lows stepping up. And we've got this big old resistance line. We came right into it and blew right through it for cotton. We blew out and came back back in this time frame, the last bull market kind of. And now it looks like we're ready to launch another move. Will this come back or will this be a support base where we launch and move on higher because of probably uh, energy prices. That's kind of what I'm guessing here. And we could come and do a retest before we do a, ma a massive launch. We'll see, and we'll watch this and, 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 and continue to monitor it. Soybeans is doing something very similar since 1970. In the, old, in the 70s, to, it, it ran higher, and then we went in this large consolidation pattern. The lows are stepping up. We've got a nice good consolidation pattern. We broke to the upside, and I think we're just going to see this thing run on higher. Uh, moving forward because of input costs and energy costs. Fertilizer costs is what I'm referring to. Coffee's got another one from 1970s, this big kind of pattern here. Uh, it's starting to come on up and we're probably going to break out of it. Wheat is breaking from its 1970s pattern to the upside. Wheat is looking like it's ready to go. We've got sugar. Sugar from 1970s has got this huge uh, consolidation pattern, another one. And we see these consolidation patterns similar to what we've got in gold and silver right now. We've got some of these in the royalty companies that have these double uh, wedge pa patterns. And this one's broken to the upside for sugar. This thing looks like it could potentially launch as well. And then we got oats with a megaphone pattern breaking it to the upside of that megaphone pattern uh, for oats. <clears throat> so my question is, what is the probability of all of these patterns breaking to the upside of these massive, massive patterns since the 1970s? What's the probability that all these are wrong? We have to have inflation because they're all breaking to the upside. Now, <clears throat> if we have massive inflation and if we have an energy crisis, which is going to manifest, uh, manifest itself with higher inflation, we would see these patterns and they're all breaking to the upside. So what do you think is going to happen here? What do you think is going to happen with all these patterns behind me? You think you think they're going to go that, that, that they're just going to stop and not go up? Or do you think they're going to reverse? And <clears throat> we're seeing it across all of them. We've got gold behind me. We've got platinum that's got this. Oil's got it too. I didn't put oil in here. But it's got a nice good descending wedge that we're breaking to the upside. This is all screaming inflation. And I've presented some other material on oil and the potential demand exceeding pumping capacity in 2022, 2023, whenever it happens. These charts are going to go ballistic. We have all the pattern. It's all set up for it. They're going to go ballistic because of two things. <clears throat> An energy crisis and more money in the system. Both of those things. It, the, energy the energy crisis is the mechanism that will transfer the money into the CPI. And that CPI measurement is going to put pressure on in, uh, in, increasing interest rates. And in that type of scenario, we've got money wanting to rotate, and all that money went into stocks and bonds, so this rotation is going to be massive. It's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out. And if you guys are interested in seeing this and, and following all of this type of work, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the content, and I really appreciate you guys listening. Thank you. This is Finding Value.